And just like that, you find out and you see that Donald Trump knows nothing about being Christian. Not that we needed to see a video of him faking or pretending to be saying the, Le the Lord's Prayer to realize that he's not a Christian. If you look at the history of Jesus, it was hundreds of years later before he was recognized. And that's probably the same thing that's going to happen to Donald Trump. When you see him, the presence that he has in the room, the way he kind of commands the crowd and the way I that think he... he's been picked by God. Yes. Yeah. He wears lifts. He wears lifts on his shoes. He wears um, a lot of makeup. He wears a girdle for to hold in, you know, his belly. And is that something, you know, God would do? First off, if you knew anything about the apostles, yeah. OK, they were pretty much all trash. What is it about Trump that you love so much? Uh, number one, he's a godly man. He, he's working for God, for darn sure. Um, number two, he really cares about us. He cares about us. He cares about what happens to us. He cares about our country. He didn't come in there because he wanted the money. He's got money. He's, he's coming there because he is actually working for God, and he wants to help us, and he wants to get us to a good he wants to make america great again and i i you know it's true but the fact that he's hawking bibles donald trump is selling bibles saying god bless the usa the usa i am not saying that god did not bless or does not bless the united states but i'm saying god bless the world overly the entire world not just the united states haiti afghanistan and everything in between but it is this sick perverted whiteness that donald trump know that he can say god bless the united states and these Southern whites and these other white people that see the world through the lens of white supremacy will fall in line, even though it's clear to anybody that has ever read anything about the Jesus Christ that Donald Trump has not a clue, not a single effing clue about what it means to be Christian. And what about former President Trump and, you know, not being terribly religious, not being a church? He believes in God, you know, so there you have it. You think President Biden believes in God? No, not at all. He worships the devil. So I see. So that, that and that's the difference between the two: is that one worships God and one worships the devil. And how do you see that manifested in President Biden? It's showing. No, I mean, I guess. In, in what? Where do you see the devil worship come out in President Biden? All over, all over the country. Like everywhere, it's everywhere. So I guess tell me a little bit more. That I know you're saying it's all over the country. I'm just curious, how, 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 like specifically, where do you see like, oh, that's because President Biden worships the devil. That blank. Child sex trafficking, the schools, uh, kids. You know, it, it, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And do you think President Biden's responsible for child sex trafficking? Yes. You do in in what ways? Every way. Are you a QAnon supporter? No. I, no, I'm curious what the the child sex trafficking and the president wh where that comes from. I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> Okay. You have President Biden who goes to church every Sunday. You have President Biden who has lived. Which church, a, yeah. Well, he goes to the Catholic Church. Yeah, I know, yeah. sure. Yeah, and yet he supports abortion and what have you. I mean, sorry, but Biden is not a Christian. Okay, and pretty much everyone knows that. And and Trump, you know, to some degree. You say pretty much everybody knows that. A lot of people think he's the most religious president we've had in a long time. The most um, God adoring president. Who thinks that? You've seen polls that say that. I've never seen a poll that says anything about Biden being religious. I just, I just can't imagine that many Democrats really think, or that anyone really even would paint Biden as a, as a Catholic. I just that, that strikes me as odd. I don't know where that even idea even came from. Well, he's been a Catholic his whole life, and he and he, know, he still I mean, worships in a Catholic church every week. But in terms of being a religious man, I'm just I'm just not buying it. No, sorry. He's done nothing for the least amongst these. He alienates the alien. And Jesus said, what you do for the alien, how you welcome them, you do for him. Donald Trump is not concerned with feeding the least amongst us. He's concerned with robbing the least amongst us. It is absolutely disgusting for the Republican party to continue to pretend that they are the party of Christian values when they clearly support a candidate 
that has zero values, not just Christian values. He is dead when it comes to morality. Yet and still, they'll stand up and say Donald Trump's a godsend. He's the second coming. And to hear this bastard in Donald Trump refer to his treatment or the treatment of him in the likeness of Jesus Christ in the crucifixion is beyond blasphemy. It is white supremacy at its highest. Do us all a favor. Stick to being silly and ridiculous and tricking the MAGA crowd and leave Jesus out of it because you damn sure left him out of your life and how you live it. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be fooled by the Antichrist.